dear friends this is my tutorial 16 in gaussian so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to do and how to analyze the electron paramagnetic resonance spectroscopy okay this is the uh, simple epr spectrum okay so this is the paper published in jctc in this paper they have calculated the electron paramagnetic resonance hyperfine coupling constant okay some known metal complexes so i'm going to choose one of the metal complexes from this paper and i'm going to do the test calculation for you and also we can compare that our obtained result with this paper result and also experimental results okay so this is the computational method they have used to for their studies in this paper they have used the ARCA program for the study of hyper finding coupling constant okay they also used a different kind of functionals here and you can see here uh, two gga functionals and meta gga functional and one hybrid functional they are studied for uh, hyper finding coupling constant so in our studies we are going to use only the hybrid functional b3 lyp only okay so we go we need we are not not going to use this functional if you want you can use this functional and uh, calculate that uh, uh, calculate the epi spectra and compare with your results okay so these are the complex they have studied okay so in this paper in this presentation i'm going to choose this complex only that is a tif3 uh, d3h uh, pine group actually this is a ti3 plus the 3 f minus will go and it will overall charge is zero okay so this is the they are calculated versus experimental values of hyperfine coupling tensors okay they used the tpps result so we are going to do with the b3 lyp okay so and we also ca compare with our result so now we have to prepare our e files okay for that first we have to make our tif3 okay molecule so for that first open your uh, gas view So go to here, C element, here you can see different periodic table, here you can choose a titanium, okay. This is the planar one you can select, just click here, you will get this one. Again click uh, here or uh, this uh, C6 and you can uh, find F here, okay. Just click three PIH places, okay, you will get a TIF3, okay. Now, now you have to choose your this point group, okay, select the point group. So for that what you have to do, go to tools, go to point group, enable point group symmetry, here you can see C12, D3H, okay, just click it, okay, now you save this uh, file to your GGF file and you can do your optimization calculation, okay, how to save me, just to go there and save, so you can uh, see here, uh, ggf.com file, you can give your name, okay can give whatever you want to name just we already saved many times just very simply i am saving file name so you will see that file so this is the our uh, just now we saved uh, input file okay you have to um, take this uh, cartesian coordinate uh, for your uh, geometry optimization okay one more thing i want to tell you here you can here you can see four atom is there here you can see four atom 49 electron neutral doublet here doublet means so there is the one unpair electron okay that's why here is 49 electron is there so if we are getting the doublet spin multiplicity okay so this is the reason there is one unpaired electron in the system okay so this is the very important things you should know before doing your uh, epr calculation so just you can close this so this is the optimization input file 
so already i told many times so here you can to choose a chk equal to taf3 molecule name just put and chk and memory 6 million words and for shared two so if you are using supercomputer it may vary so here i'm using the b3 loop theory and the 631 register basis set for optimization of this taf3 so this is optimization and the further frequency calculation will run so then you can give space and you can give your molecule name then you can space and you can give the charge of the molecule this is already i told you know this is neutral molecule i put the zero charge so the spin multiplicity doubled that's why we are giving two okay so this is the cartesian coordinate of taf3 okay finally you can give some uh, enter space then you can save you can submit this calculation using gaussian uh, linux version or windows version then a calculation will complete within you know, five to ten minutes this is a small molecule okay so uh, then we will get the output file this is the output file we will see the output file frequency of output file okay so if you open we drag with that uh, gas view it will uh, show this uh, output file so go to result if you can want to see summary you can see summary so normal termination the point group you can see d3h so and also we have what base set with 631 uh, g star is the btwp theory calculation time frequency everything spin multiplicity also is a doublet okay this is the total energy of the system okay there is no imaginary frequency okay so this is the things uh, then if we want to want to see the vibrational frequency of this one so just you can uh, go to result and you can click vibrational you will find this place if you want to see vibration just click start vibration so this is the different kind of uh, uh, vibrational modes just if you want you can uh, click one by one you can see okay so that's all then you can stop animation close it so you can save this file as a incur file for epr calculation okay that's very important you need to use only the optimized geometry okay so already i saved this optimized geometry i also made input file for uh, epr okay so just you can close it so this is the epr uh, input files so i will show you the input file so so this is the input file for epr calculation so here you should carefully see so this is simply you need to mention the system name okay here memory 6 million words this is the n pro shared 2 if you are using supercomputer you can change this according to your computer configuration so i already told you i am using the b3lfe functional so basis set the similar basis set what that paper they used i am using here so you, here you can also use a different basis set i will tell you that basis set so for that what you have to do go to go to google so epr basis set so if you type epr2 basis set it will go to gaussian plus one just click in this one so here you can see oh so here you can find that so this is the epr two and epr basis functions okay basis set you can use this epr2 or epr1 for b3lyp functional okay here you can see here uh, epr is two is double zeta basis set okay here you can see is epr3 is triple zeta basis set so if you want to get higher accuracy just to try to use this epr3 or epr2 this will give similar results only you can try both this basis set and compare the results which one is, is good you can you choose that one okay so this is the basis set to place just you can use this one with a b3 loop theory okay so then so here you, you you can put your basis set here if you want to epr epr iphone you can put one okay like that so if you want to put three you can put three okay then it will run the calculation no problem so this is the i used basis set uh, what that paper uh, already used okay 
then you can uh, do SEF equal to tight okay so this will give then we have to type the EPR keyword property equal to EPR okay PROP equal to EPR then you can give this pop equal to minimal okay that's all this is the important keyword uh, for your uh, EPR calculation okay so then after that you can give one space then you can give name of the system then you can uh, give space under the default charges to spin multiplicity to double it okay this is the optimized cartesian coordinate of uh, the tif3 okay that's all and finally you can give yes yeah, some space and you can save this file okay then you can run this file for the epr calculation this also will finish within half an hour it won't take uh, too much time okay so that's all this input files just you can follow this one and you can see that now results of uh, epr uh, spectroscopy okay so now we can open this one so this is the epr output file okay so you can see here what we have given the keyword everything is there SEF equal to tight, property equal to EPR, pop equal to minimal. This is the root section keyword. This is very important. So where to find your, our EPR results means? I will tell you that place. Just go down. Yeah, from here only you will get your result. So where you will get? So this is that place. After uh, this steps, you will see the isotropic fermi contact coupling okay this is the one place you will get the mega heads so actually if you see here titanium and fff you can see is 231.14601 this is the isotropic constant okay so that is so this is the a isotropic constant so i used this basis set aug ccpvtz so they are observed 218.93 so um, my case 231.14 so our case we have used a different uh, software program and also different theory we have different theory we have used okay that's why we are getting slightly different value okay so this is the important value if you are doing epr you have to use this iso isotropic fermi constant coupling this is very important one just use this value so if you want to see f also you can uh, see f value okay so this is the ti fermi isotropic value then one more value you have to see that is actually so you can see is uh, SD, SD, ST. This, this means uh, the three kind of different value. So SD value means. So this one. Okay. So anisotropic spin dipole coupling. That, that is the spin dipole coupling means they mentioned SD. Okay. Spin dipole coupling of uh, uh, each molecule each atom okay so here you can see that mega heads so this is the important value here also mega heads you can choose this one so you can see titanium uh, 10.634 10.634 21.268 is there so here you can see 9.23 9.23 18.47 so we have got the slightly higher spin dipole coupling so that uh, that is the due to the different basis set and this different uh, software we are used okay that's why we are getting some different value that's all if you want you can do with uh, this three basis set and uh, in, the, in this paper uh, basis functional also use what they used okay you will get maybe the similar result so this is the important things in the epr spectroscopy okay so thank you for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share to your friends and also please click the bell icon for my future update thank you thank you so much for watching my video i enjoy if you have any doubt on this calculation please comment in this video i will happy to answer okay thank you